you guys, it's your girl Zoe and it's been a while since I've uploaded a video here. <laughs> For my video comeback, I am going to do a get ready with me. So I'm very excited because it's officially hot girl summer and I am insanely hot right now because the weather in the Philippines, no joke, I just woke up and I'm doused with sweat right now I am sweating so if you see drips of sweat on my neck please excuse that so for today's makeup I am just gonna go something simple something really nice something fresh that makes me look decent <laughs> during this time and I'm very excited because my last video I showed you guys how I DIY my makeup and I'm going to use some of them on this video so if you guys want to know if I actually use the stuff that I made yes I do <laughs> you're gonna see it so let's get on to the video so first obviously we have to moisturize our face and I don't know if you guys watched my previous video, but I've mentioned this before. I love the oops, I love the Face Shop Jeju Aloe 99%. Right now, since it's really hot in the Philippines, I use the ice one, which is somewhere here in the video. I love this one because it is aloe vera, so it just absorbs to your skin faster, and I love that. Especially since I have oily skin type. It's really ugh, when you know your moisturizer is thick. I don't like that, and I already produce so much shine throughout the day. I can even cook egg using the oil of my face. It's disgusting, but I could do it. <laughs> That's how much I produce in like a couple of hours. And since it is summertime, and you want to protect the money maker. <laughs> I am using the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel. This has sunscreen and it is SPF 15. Since I'm at home, thank god, <laughs> all the time and because of quarantine, I don't go out at all except for like grocery shopping. This is what I use every day and yes, you need to use sunblock even if you're at home because the rays of the sun is still very powerful, that's UV, it's going to destroy your face and you're going to look older. So to prevent that, um, I wear the sunscreen and thank God for my mom because she actually sent this stuff to me and I absolutely love it. So thanks mom. And now since I've prepped my skin, I am going to start with foundation. So I'm not going to do a lot with foundation, but I am going to cover up since I do have some discoloration on my skin and as you can see, it doesn't really look nice. <laughs> I'm going to use a little bit of foundation and I'm going to use this one which is the one that I made. It's a combination of two Maybelline foundation which I love. These are the two. This one is the Fit Me one. This one's a little too dark for me. And this one is a little too light for me. And this is the Super Stay, which by the way, full coverage. I love this one. This is absolutely amazing. I use this when I do my TikTok videos. Absolutely amazing. Um, actually, this combination got me this one. So if you guys want to know what my foundation routine is, there you go. You got it. <laughs> so I'm just going to apply this onto my face. And as you can see, oh, look at that. And I'm not putting on a lot and color matches me, guys. This is the best. So I recommend you do experimentation, like seriously, experiment with your foundation. Combine the colors because there's, I don't know, I, I haven't found the perfect shade for me and it's especially hard since it's quarantine and can't go out to the mall to buy your makeup so I, I do that. I would buy something that's not my shade and just combine it. Especially if the formula is good and it I don't know. That's just me. <laughs> so how have you guys been? I to be honest with you guys, quarantine is kicking my mental health ass. It's been a while. And I actually starred in a mental health series for my friend, which by the way, if you guys want to see it, I will link it here or in the description box down below. So just check that out, you guys. 
and yeah, it was really nice. We she interviewed me about mental health and how it is affecting all of us and well me. <laughs> It's really nice, and as you can see, I only dabbed like twice on this, and it really covered my face. And to be honest with you guys, I love cushion compacts just because it applies better and it kind of helps you control your foundation, like amount of foundation that you use. Because I can, I can puff a lot, and then it just makes me feel bad when I have so much on my hand. And this is just super convenient. So yeah. Basically, I'm selling you to this one. <laughs> Next step is concealer, and I'm not gonna do a lot with concealer, but I am getting some under eye action because honestly, it's so hot in the Philippines that it's super duper hard to fall asleep, and I just, you know, I just can't sleep. My usual bedtime would be like 12, but it's so hard because it's super hot. So I'm just going to apply it onto these areas right here and a couple onto my spots. There. So it's been incredibly hot and I fall asleep around 2.30 in the morning and I wake up at 8 because my body clock. So it's absolutely hard for me to fall asleep these days. By the way, this is also my makeup look for doing TikTok. I love TikTok. It's actually one of the things that makes me get up in the morning because every time I just I'm so excited to create shorter content and it was really fun. I, I don't know why it took me so long to like jump into the bandwagon. But honestly, I don't mind. I'm really happy. I've been doing more of the acting part of TikTok, <laughs> which is weird because I also do fashion. But I don't know. I'm I'm too body shy right now to do some you know fashion content but I will soon it's just I've been really shy it's really hard to do fashion content especially now that I've gained quarantine weight <laughs> it's super hard for me to cope with that but uh, I'm, I'm gonna post a lot more and what I love about TikTok is that it's just five seconds and you're done you can jump into a new concept and it's super fun and it takes away the whoa sorry by the way this is the nichiro final powder in the shade ivory glow i love this one this is a cult favorite and my favorite as well so i'm using this one and i've been loving tiktok i love to explore the marvel section of tiktok i love marvel I'm not like the super geek fan, like I know everything, but I do enjoy the movies. I love the characters. One of my favorites will be Scarlet Witch. I loved her before it was Elizabeth Olsen, and now I love her even more because it's Elizabeth Olsen, and yeah, just love her. I think she's super cool, and I love her voice. She has a really sexy voice. <laughs> I know, it's weird, but I love her voice. Every time she talks, I'm like, honey in my ear. <laughs> so yeah, it's really, really fun, and I've been loving it. After my foundation, I'm gonna go with eyebrows first, because I really want to set the tone with eyebrows. Sometimes I can go a little bit too hard with eyebrows, to be honest with you. Like, sometimes I overfill them, and I'll get, like, Lily Collins, but more caterpillar than... Gorgeous. I'm going to be using these this Nichiro clear brow gel and I know it looks disgusting. It's almost gone. I've been using a lot of I, I mean I do a coat before I do the eyebrows and then I do a coat after so that's why it gets a little bit dirty but it still does the job so I am going to brush my brows up and just let it set for a while. I've, I missed getting ready. Like, I, I get ready for TikTok, but I do miss going out. Honestly, no. <laughs> I just miss the excuse to get ready. But now that I'm at home, it's just sometimes, I know, I know, I get so lazy. <laughs> it's really hard. Take a bath after and so the next that I'm going to do is my eyes. So I just set the brows first so that the they don't move and then once they've set with the brow gel I'm just going to fill them in so I'm going to get a fluffy 
blender brush and again one of my favorite the study Kale. this is probably expired to be honest with you i bought this like long long time ago but i really love this one this is a medium and i'm going to get this medium brown shade tap it on and just I'm just gonna put it on the lid. This is more of like a natural, like naturally sunken in the eyes. So go ahead. So if you guys have the same eye shape as me, I have hooded eyes. Maybe you know this could help you guys because it took it's so hard to find videos for hooded eyes just because all of the really pretty looks are for you know, people who have lids and mine is like hooded here and then they just have a little bit of lid space but on the outside so that's just hard. By the way, I don't know if you can see it but like I'm so, <laughs> so bad. I'm going to use the same brush and the same shade but since I diffused it, I'm going to connect the brows to my nose so it's going to be my nose contour but look how much difference that is it just gave my eyes a little bit of more of a depth to it so i'm going to use slightly of the darker brown just focusing that on the outside part of my eyes and i'm slightly winging that out it's so pretty <laughs> so bad Sorry. So connecting that to my upper lid. Yes. And then I'm gonna squish the brush till it's flat and then just drag whatever is left on the brush onto the end of your eye. Like I'm not trying to give myself really heavy eye makeup just because it's summertime and I just want to look fresh, but I also just want to look a little bit put together. So, I love it. Let's move on to the eyebrows because it's already been set and I'm going to use this one. This is from the pink flash video that I got. This was actually a freebie which is amazing. I like this one. This has a waxy consistency to it and it just looks nice. So I'm going to fill in my eyebrows. I'm reading a lot of books, which by the way, I'm excited to share with you guys what books I've read. So, <laughs> what is so bad? I am, I've been loving so many books lately, so I'm excited because I'm going to make a whole video of what books I've been reading to really get my brain better. So, yeah. If you guys want to know, just, you know, you can also subscribe to my channel and click that notification button so that you'll get notified. And yes, yeah. now I'm just going to brush through my brow with this one. There you go, and it's a little more you know, natural looking. And again, final coat of a, the clear brow gel. And there you go. She's all ready and she's all set. Let's move on to the eyeliner. and. Actually, I don't have eyeliner anymore. I use eyeshadow and I'm using this eyeliner brush from Focalure, the 9 8 pesos that I bought. And I'm just going to dip it with in some water. And I'm going to wet this palette from Hello Gorgeous, which they discontinued. That makes me scared. Why? <laughs> I've had this palette for years now. Oh my gosh. And I'm just going to put it here. And I'm going to line only the end of my eye. There you go. And as you can see it. So I do this because I only want, this is the only part of my eye that you can see. And also it like elongates it. So be careful because it's wet. So I'm waiting for it to dry up. And then I'm gonna add a wing to it, so to elongate my eyes. And yeah, it's so cool on TikTok that this is gonna be like a TikTok rant, but I'm just saying that it's cool because I'm learning a lot of hacks on TikTok. There's a lot of motivational 
TikTok videos, there's a lot of makeup videos, fashion videos, acting videos, which I love. My love for acting has amplified because of TikTok. Um, also, my Marvel fan addiction. Like, I read a lot of like Marvel articles. Of, I watched WandaVision. I love WandaVision. I haven't watched Falcon and the Winter Soldier just because, you know, I don't know if I can cheat with all my man, my man, Steve Rogers. I will never forget you. <laughs> but I am a huge Steve Rogers fan and I'm kind of excited and kind of not to watch the new one. I've already been spoiled by TikTok and all that, but you know, it's really exciting. If you guys haven't watched it, it's really cool that the story builds up to be who Captain America will be. And I, 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 I don't know, it's nice. I haven't watched it yet, but I'm pretty excited to see it. After lining my eyes, I also do the bottom part just to give some emphasis on my eyes. And I don't add more of the shadow, I just have and just drag whatever I have on the brush. So it just gives me more defined look, as you can see this one, and then this one. This is looking nice, I'm really liking it. So, next up is highlighter, because you know, we want to highlight our face. And I think my oiliness and sweat is already doing that for my body area. I'm also having some, you know, stash wetness here. <laughs> Sounds so weird, but trust me, it is. And I'm just gonna highlight my nose. Love this one. I, I add this on the tip of my nose just to give myself a like, you know, cute but nose tip. And also the bridge. And I'm gonna do the eyes. Just gonna add some. And also here. Just some brightness. And I do add a little bit on the cupid's bow. And Cupid's bow. Eyebrow. <laughs> the Cupid's bow. Okay. I don't add much here, but whatever whatever is left on the brush, I just add them. And the fluffy brush again, and I'm just gonna add a little bit of shadow on top of that. So it just gives me a little bit of like button nose. There you go. And now for the blush. I love blush. I'm I'm much more of a blush person than like contour. So I'm going to be using the Sunkiss Monochromatic Blush Duo from Focalore and I'm getting the 3 shade which is the Rose Flamingo and this is what it looks like. It looks absolutely pretty. And I'm going to get the matte shade first to define the sides of my face and then I'm going to use the shimmer shade to apply it on the apple. And I do more of a padding motion just because this fluff is not as dense. So it just gives me more control. And I love that about it. And a little goes a long way. So one click, and you part onto the apples of my cheeks. I love this one and it just gives me like, you know, like a healthy glow. So I like that one. And I'm also going to scrunch it like that. And I'm gonna apply that onto my nose. So it looks like I look healthy, even though I eat a lot of junk food. <laughs> Next, I am going to apply white eyeliner to the lower part of my eye. I want to give myself some... I've been watching a lot of random TikTok videos, and I've seen like girls do awesome makeup, and they do white eyeliner on the bottom part of their eyes, and it just gives them like anime eyes, and I think that looks so cute. So I'm trying this out to give myself, you know, a little bit of doll eyes. I don't know, it's like cute doll, like Barbie, maybe some Chucky. I don't know. That's <laughs> like, I could be a Chucky. I mean, I do love the chocolate drink. Haha, <laughs> if you guys don't know, if you don't live in the Philippines, this is a drink in the Philippines. Chucky. I love chocolate milk. I'm a huge fan of it, and also my nephew, which just goes to show I am a child. <laughs> and there. And now I am just going to curl my lashes using my eyelash curler, 
and I'm going to use my ever favorite Hyper Curl Waterproof Mascara by Maybelline. This I've had this, not I've had this one, but I've been using this product since I was in high school. Like my sisters use this, I use this, and now I'm not a high school student and I still use it. It just really makes my eyelashes just curl. And they're like keeps it up and it's really pretty. I do love other Maybelline mascaras, but I've been wanting to try the falsies one. I saw on TikTok that a girl used it and her lashes look so pretty, so I kind of really want to try that one. I love to put a lot on my bottom lashes. I love that whole twiggy look, you know? Very eyelashy. I used to draw eyelashes when I have like the eyeliner, like a liquid liner, but now that I don't, it just doesn't look nice. <laughs> When it's just powder or gel because it's much thicker in consistency. Look, it just looks absolutely gorgeous. Like my eyes look brighter, especially the white eyeliner on the lower lash line. It just makes a whole lot of difference. And last but not the least, I am going to do my lips. And the one the product that I'm going to be using is this semi face one. This is really cool. This is the Lip Dip in Girl Crush. This is actually a Christmas gift from my sister. Thank you so much. This looks absolutely pretty. The only thing is that sometimes the packaging, this one, the plastic, that bit that, you know, stops you from getting too much product kind of gets up, but I still love this product. And I'm just gonna apply it sparingly just because this has that pretty, you know, my lips look better color. It's really cute. There you go. And that is my finished look. Obviously, I'm going to set this with a setting spray. And the one that I use is this one. So this is my hot girl summer makeup look. And I hope that you enjoy this get ready with me. And, you know, you've been updated with my life. So... Hello, people of the internet, and welcome to my life. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more video content like this. And don't forget to hit that notification button so that you'll get notified every time that I upload another video. And also, since I've been talking about TikTok so much, you can also follow me on my TikTok, which is Zoe Korean M, and also my Instagram, which is the same name, Zoe Korean M. And I hope to see you soon. Bye.